Good morning, everybody. We ended up staying at that amazing spot beside the lake. I was gonna leave after filming that morning video yesterday, but I got stuck watching this freaking video on Netflix. This series called Unlocked. It's like a prison series. It was actually really cool. And I binge watched the whole season all day yesterday. Um, I'm glad we didn't go though, because it started to rain hard yesterday. But thankfully today, no rain, a little bit overcast, weather looks great, so we're gonna hit the road again here this morning. I drove just under 150 kilometers on some dirt roads to some remote areas. I seen a black bear and have a story about a baby orca that was trapped in a lagoon for two months and couldn't get out. down here on the river. I'm not too sure about this road. It's getting pretty steep up there. According to the map here, the main road ends right there. So, and we're going well, I guess it does continue, not end, see? These all go to dead ends. Roaming around these backcountry roads sometimes just take you to nowhere, but I always have that feeling inside of me that around the next corner is the most epic camp spot. Looks like this road pops out on the main forest service road, and then from there we're heading down to the little town of Zabelos. How do you pronounce now, the name of that town? As I adventure into this town, there's a story here that I wish I would have known before coming here because I would have come here one day earlier if I knew about it. But I'm not a big guy for watching TV or following news, so I had no idea. All right, there's a sign. Oh, look at the color of that. Beautiful. This is it. Welcome to Zabelos, Golden Gate to the West Coast. I'm kind of excited to visit this little town up here. The town of Zabelos is located on the ocean and has a population of around 100 people. And it is such a cute little area out here, but there's not much in town. I didn't see anything around here in the means of getting groceries, getting fuel, or even just a corner store. I mean, I may have missed it driving through town and stuff because a lot of things were closed out here. The information center was closed, the town office, the police station. Well, I don't think there's even a police officer at it. <laughs> Wait till you see that cute little thing. But this place is pretty magical and the story you're about to hear about the baby orca is gonna break your heart. <laughs> this is awesome. Museum, it's closed, and visitor center. I'm gonna stop in town here, dump my garbage. These are open, public washing with a shower. Oh my gosh, they are too. It's a coin operated shower, $2 to start. Oh, <laughs> it's dark in here. That's it, coin shower. That's pretty awesome if you guys are out this way looking for a shower. There's a rustic little community down here.
There's the community hall. It's the village office. There's the fire department. And the local police station <laughs> is in a little baby portable. <laughs> I love small towns. Local campground. No partying or loud noise, $10 per unit. Fees paid in advance to village office. Campsite patrolled by the RCMP. Campsite's a big open parking lot. Fresh water here. There you go. A little square thing up on the mountain. What the heck is that? It's like a big chunk of plywood. Like a sign. <laughs> what the heck? There's the local hospital. There's a, a little campground right there. Something I didn't see back there was like a convenience store or anything like that. Unless I miss it in the village there. All right, there is a road here that goes down to Fair Harbor. That's pretty awesome to go from a lake this morning to the ocean right now. And I love this island. That's all ocean. We're just winding through these little harbors. Just the day before I drove through this area, something absolutely magical happened right here under this bridge. And I had no idea. If I was here a day earlier, I might have been there to witness it. So a few months ago, under that bridge swam a mother orca with her calf, which is only two years old. And as the tide went out, the mom got stuck on the shore and the local community out there couldn't rescue it. And it ended up dying. And that baby calf was locked in that lagoon for two months, unable to get past the sandbar to get out to the ocean. So it didn't eat, they said, for about 27 days. The color on the orca was starting to turn white because of so much fresh water going into the lagoon, it was changing color. And then, not that long ago, the local community finally got this to eat some seal meat and lured it back out to the bridge the day before I got there. And just before it got underneath the bridge and out to the wide open ocean, that baby orca was jumping around and showing signs of good health. Just think about that. One day before I drove underneath that bridge, that baby whale finally got out to the big open ocean. There's a campground here. Looks like uh, a lot of people living here permanently. Yeah, all these guys have been here for a long time. I'm not sure if this is really a campground anymore. That camper van's been there for a long time. So looking at the map here, this is Fair Harbor. We're at the campground right now, and this is where it ends. That's the end of it. We full scented hardcore today. <laughs> Look at all this. 
backcountry driving. That was the last town that we were in, was right there. We drove all through the mountains here, down to there. All right, I've only got just above half a tank of fuel. So we are going to do too much more backcountry driving because I still got to get back to a town somewhere to grab fuel. So it took us a half a tank to get out here. It's going to take us probably less than half a tank to get back because we did a lot of adventuring off the main roads today. So we're doing pretty good. This is cool though, right here, these double bridges. Beautiful. Well, this bridge there and that bridge, uh, there's triple bridges. One little baby, one in the middle, and then three. We live in a pretty amazing world to have so many amazing people here that care about us and care about the animals around us. I was told that the local indigenous community out here tried with every single tide change trying to get that baby calf back out into the big open ocean so it can find its, its pod, hopefully. But I guess from what I understand, they're still trying to track it, trying to see if it found its way home. I'm trying to make a conscious effort to track all my driving routes. And if I would have been using this app, this is the Gaia Maps app, for all the years I was out here, there'd be a ton of lines on this island. But it just recently started being being pretty vigilant on hitting record because I figured imagine five years from now all the lines I will have all over Canada on where I've where I've been and where I need to go next so satisfied that we came all the way out here unsatisfied that the campground wasn't well <laughs> we're moving on There's a little hunter's cabin over here. That oh, looks like a little hunter's shelter. Be a good view of anything crawling through the bush over there for sure. So we're right there and down there is the town of Port McNeil. That's probably the closest fuel. So we're gonna head that way. Oh, there's a gas station right here. I forgot about this one. I made a pit stop to get fuel and I just ran into a subscriber. So we're just gonna head back here and find a camp spot. I don't think we're heading any farther north on this trip. Today has been a really big drive day. And uh, I'm getting the itch to go back and see everything that's going on at my shop. So the electrician has been sending me pictures and I'm like, oh, I want to go see. So they've hung all the lights and stuff upstairs. So I think we're going to venture around here for a few more days and then uh, bounce our way back down island. Getting back on the dirt here. There's a little campground down here somewhere. Nimkish Lake Recreational Site. Look at the moss on those trees. That's wild. These trees are solid green. Look out there. They're furry the whole way up. Coming in on the highway, there was RV after RV after RV after RV. 
Not a single vehicle here. <laughs> nice. And we can park right here on the grass. Oh, I love it. I think there's a big RV down here at the end. Oh, ho, ho. holy cow. So I think this lake has seen some serious flooding in the past because that's a campground right there. And look at all of this driftwood. Ho, 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 ho. The Great Flood. That's insane. Wow. So there's another campground I seen like this down towards, um, I was in the Was area. It was the same way where the half the campground was wiped out by driftwood from flooding. Looks like somebody here built a little outhouse structure. <laughs> oh no, that's probably a shower because there's some little, uh, little shelves in there. That's pretty cool. Breezy, come on. How's my back bumper holding up? Oh yeah, she's solid, baby. All that backcountry over the last stack of days have been a been a good test. This is Nimkish Lake, and I think the river system that we've been bouncing in and out of over the last stack of days has been the Nimkish River. I could be totally wrong, but I think it is. Oh, and the subscriber that I met at the gas station back there told me that that town over there is called Zabelas. So I was pretty darn close the damn first time. I always second guess myself because I am bad at doing that stuff. So when I took to YouTube, it said Zabayos, which is incorrect. According to a local, it's Zabelas. So pretty darn close, Chromie. Good job <laughs> for once. But driving around out there today was absolutely epic. And it's hard to capture how awesome that is on camera because there's areas that I'm driving through that I just can't prop the camera up in. That's the most epic parts of the trip. Right along, like the ocean was right down there. The rock cliff was right there. Oh, guys, it was so wild and i was pretty excited about drawing more little squiggly lines on my gaia map i love doing that stuff tracking my route it's actually a lot of fun anyway guys this is the end of my day here today let's go up make ourselves some dinner and call this one done Hopefully this rain will hold out until after dinner My fire <laughs> it's it's not it's not doing so good it had it's like five minutes of fame and then <clears throat> that's it over anyway speaking of over that's all i got for you guys today we drove a lot out there and it was epic to wake up by the lake then get down there by that little town by the ocean oh my gosh i it was it was absolutely awesome Anyway, y'all, thanks for watching. Please hit the join button down below and come on over and see what we're doing on YouTube memberships. And I wanna thank everybody who's hit the thanks button on my videos. It means the absolute world to me to read your guys' notes and stuff. Anyway, y'all, that's all I got. Till the next one, peace out. Cruzy Daddy's fire sucks, bro. Daddy made a bad fire. That's it, baby. We done, Cruzy. I don't think this fire is getting any better.
Oh. It was fun while it lasted.